Welcome to the fifth and final installment in this video tutorial series on using Ustream. Today we're going to cover the chat window. You can set your TV show preferences to include a chat or not include a chat. And if you include a chat, then your viewers can be chatting as the broadcast is happening. You'll notice that there is a chat pop-up. If I click on the chat pop-up, then a new window appears. This is the chat window. And we're going to go over some of the options in the chat window. Your viewers who are watching your program can chat. Notice, L.D. Letkeman just said hello. Somebody called C Squared, our computer club, said hello to you. So you can also chat while you are broadcasting. But with chat comes a potential danger, of course. Okay? Ustream recently has required people to sign in before they can chat, which is nice, before you could just anonymously chat. There are certain options that you need to be aware of if you are broadcasting and having a chat. Please always be mindful of the chat or have somebody watching the chat. Down here, you've got chat options. And if I click on that, now I could hide the topic, pause the chat, turn on slow mode, or allow links. Another thing I can do is click on Show Users. And if I click on Show Users, that shows me everybody who has signed in and is watching the broadcast. So we've got Leon Letkeman, C Squared, and LD Letkeman watching our broadcast right now. Okay? And if you allow a chat, people can chat at any time and it will appear in this window. And you can also add to the chat. Now, L.D. Letkeman has asked, where are you from? So I could answer, DACA. Another person who's in the chat could answer where they're from. So you get the idea. This is a standard chat window. It is a separate window from your broadcast window. This is your broadcast window. This is your chat window. You can click on this button down here to hide now we don't see the users. If we click on it again, we see the users. Okay? And another important feature is if somebody is doing something inappropriate, you can click on them and then this dialog comes up. So you can ban them all together. You can kick them off this time. You can time them out. You can make them a moderator. So you could choose somebody that you trust to keep looking at the chat and moderating the chat. And then you can view their profile. So if there's inappropriate things going on, you have quite a bit of control over the chat. And you can pause the entire chat at any time. If you click on chat options, you can pause the chat, which will just close down the chat until you unpause the chat. But if you're watching a sporting event or a live concert or something, having a chat window can add quite a bit of interactivity with your audience. And I think it's a really good feature of Ustream, but a feature that needs to be handled carefully uh, and moderated uh, carefully as well. 